Hello, I'm just going to show you real quick how to do video titles in Inkscape. So after you opened Inkscape, first thing, go to Document Properties. You can press shift Control d And in here, change units to pixels. And change the resolution to your video resolution, which is probably 1920 by 1080. Then press Close, and you can see it's already applied. Next up, use the text tool, click it, and write something. Right. Then use F1 or press the Select and Transform objects. And first of all, you can move it around, of course, but you can also align it to the page. For this, go to Object and Align and Distribute. This panel or window will appear. And while the title is selected, make sure it's relative to page, press the center buttons. Now you might want to have it in the center. You can scale it now if you hold down Control and Shift and drag it by these arrows. You can scale it centered and uh, in aspect ratio. And if you want to move it, you can just uh, hold control and then drag it down or up and it will stay at the same uh, at the same X position it will be centered horizontally on Mac of course you have to use command instead of control I think but uh, try it out maybe they still haven't um, ported the keys anyways here it is now whoops uh, now, let's see, we might want to have an outline just to see what, I mean, how it, this would look on a dark background. Let's uh, change fill and stroke of this rectangle, <clears throat> which we created with the F4 or Create Rectangles and Squares tool. Let's just have a dark one. And now I'm going to going to use the lower selection one step or page you can press page down for that or you can go to lower in the object menu and now we see an example so actually I want a white text so I'm going to click it and in fill and stroke we're going to uh, if we are in HSL we're going to just move it to white in RGB you would have to move all the sliders to the right side um, and the next step is I want to give it an outline because on a, on a bright background this will look like crap. So uh, let's go back to gray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. Edit, duplicate. You can press Ctrl D instead. And I'm going to go to the Stroke tab, Stroke Paint. I'm going to use a flat color which incidentally happens to be black already. And uh, the stroke style, we're gonna just use 33, maybe 25. Press Enter. And now, while this is selected, let's go to Object and Lower. And if you want these to stay together, just draw a rectangle around them and then go to Object, Group, or press Ctrl G and now you can move them around while they stick together. I'm just going to move, remove the background. This is how it will look when we export it. So we're pretty much done. Make sure to make the outline step when you're done with the, with the actual text or else you will have to edit both. You can, for example, change this to nice wait, nice video titles, but then the black uh, outlined one is screwed up. You have to click it somehow and then nice uh, type type the same thing. And then you can deselect it and click it once. Then you will have the group selected. And then use the align and distribute tab to center it on the on the page again and probably make it smaller. All right, I'm done. Uh, you can play around of course some more. Now let's export this. For this, we can use. We should not use save document. Most uh, video editors will not be able to use it. 
Instead, go to File, Export PNG Image, or press Control Shift E. You can also get this out of this sidebar. And we're gonna put it inside of, and we're gonna call it uh, Titles. And now, very important, do not export a drawing, like drawing over here. If we do that, then we will get this file, which is just the text and its black outline. Um, but what we want is we want the whole transparency area as well. So what you have to do is to press page and then you export and just replace it if you already exported it export it at once. So if this was useful, please like and subscribe. And if we look at the image in GIMP, for example, we can see the transparency. Right there. And this file can be just dragged and dropped into most video editors. And I recommend you save your project so you can reuse it later. Alright, I hope this helped. Have fun making titles and videos. See you next time.